What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to complete all of the ULP missions. This is from the DLC that was released back in the summer. So if you guys enjoy this kind of videos, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and let's get started with the first one. Now, before we start, I recommend you guys to go to your agency or your auto shop or your CEO office and grab all of the snacks. This will be very helpful because most of the times you need to re replenish your health, okay? So first you want to make your way to this location over here. And this is where you will be able to start the missions from the new DLC. There are a total of six missions and this is the tutorial for the first one, okay? So you want to go to that location, go to the yellow circle and start up the mission. Uh, you can set the difficulty to whatever you like. Uh, in my case, I prefer doing it in hard mode as it gives you an extra bonus money, okay? Um, so you can just confirm the settings. You can buy the armor and the ammo as well. Confirm the settings and you can do it solo, okay? So this is actually a guide for completing it solo and you will be a very, very simple way to completing this, okay? so. Uh, first thing is you'll have a cutscene so you cannot skip this but after the cutscene what you want to do is uh, call your armored vehicle okay so the trick for this mission and all of the others is to call the Kuruma the armored Kuruma so make sure you have one before you start and just request it as this will be very helpful by avoiding being hit with the fire okay so uh once you guys make your way to the location you want to go uh to the bedroom upstairs go to the computer now you want to select this my computer external device and brute force okay so this is like a simple hack as we've seen previously in the game you just need to click the letters as they show up so it should be straightforward to complete. Once you guys complete the hack, it will give you two locations that you will need to go, okay? So you can then go ahead and exit the apartment. Uh, you will wait for the, um, the dialogue to finish, okay? So you cannot leave the apartment um, until he stops talking. But when you do, you will have two locations to go, okay? So make sure you have the armored Kuruma, as I said, this is really important because if you die in this mission, you will, you will need to do it again, like you need to do the steps all over again. So you want to avoid dying as much as possible. So make your way to the location, start with location A and you can leave your Kuruma parked just right at the entrance. Okay, make sure you park it right at the entrance because there will be a lot of enemies uh, shooting so you want to make sure you go to the vehicle as fast as you can as soon as you exit the, the, the building okay uh, I recommend you you use the assault shotgun uh, so there are a few FIB agents over here you want to shoot them there's like four of them you want to shoot them and then you want to make your way to the elevator okay so pretty simple pretty straightforward you just need to make your way to the elevator there's nothing here to check, so just make your way there, okay? Uh, there will be a couple of enemies here, so I recommend the guys to use the snacks and take cover as much as possible. But once you guys climb up, you want to just go to the right. As you guys can see, you have some enemies over here, you want to shoot them, you want to take cover whenever you need. And the first hardware part will be on the last room over there. I'm just gonna show you in a minute. So make sure you finish killing all the enemies and then you just go to this room and this is where the first hardware is located, okay? Now you'll need to go for the second one. So there's nothing more over here. You can go back to the elevator or you can go back closer and then take this path over here to the left there will be a couple more enemies uh, so want to be very careful want to first kill all of the enemies 
so make sure they don't kill you okay and the last hardware part will be in this room over here okay so the first one was back there and the second one is right here now once you collected the two hardware parts you can go back downstairs be very careful here because there will be a lot of agents shooting you so you want to kill the agent that's right next to the door uh, make sure you have the clear way and make your way to the vehicle as fast as you can okay so uh, just like this enter the vehicle and right now you can just go away so this is why the Kuruma is really important for this mission because you will not be killed it will be a lot harder for you to die now make your way to the second location location B and do the same thing okay you can park your car just right next to the entrance because when you leave there will be a lot of enemies shooting um, so make sure you park it over here okay you don't need to worry about going in because there will be no agents inside but when you come outside there will be a lot of them so make sure you park your vehicle over here in this exact spot and then make your way inside so this will be dark you need to turn on the flashlight and the first item should be just to the left okay so that was the first hardware item then the second one you just need to go forward uh, you just need to look for some shelves so they should be over here at the right so the first one was right at the left and the entrance and the second one is over here in these shelves so make sure you pause the video and check the locations uh, it should be the same for you if not they will be there uh, in other places but anyway it's really simple just collect the two hardware parts and then once you leave make sure to run for your vehicle to avoid getting killed and then you can just go to the final location to deliver it so that's why the Kuruma is really important as well for this mission and the others so once you guys get to the location uh, you lose the cops and boom you have finished the mission you have earned 48,000 43,000 because it's double money right now and 10,000 RP so go to the IAA building uh, and start up the mission okay so this one is called counterintelligence and um, you can set it up to hard mode as you prefer in my case I'm gonna do it in hard mode it gives you a, be a better payout okay so starting off with the mission first thing you guys want to do just like the previous mission I recommend you guys to use the armored Karuma so make sure you request the armored Karuma as it will give you a lot of protection from the bullets okay uh, you can use any other vehicle but this is my recommendation and you want to make your way to the drone so there will be two drones and once you get to the drone you want to pull up your phone go to secure serve hack and hack the drones okay so just make sure you follow the drone because the drone will be moving uh, so we need to follow him it's not static and then make your way to the second drone location and also pull up your phone open up the secure serve app and hack it okay so the first step of the mission is to hack these two drones which is really simple you just need to open up the phone and open the application okay once you are done hacking the drones then you will need to go to a motel okay so just make your way there for the next part of the mission and essentially you just want to go inside of the motel and once you guys go inside you'll find the laptop so you just want to go to the laptop and access the laptop but instead of doing and hacking there will be a trap uh, there will be a lot of gas and you'll basically uh, snooze okay so it'll be it'll be gassed and it'll be 
just falling asleep okay then you wake up in a van so basically you were kidnapped and from here you guys will need to do two hacks okay so these are kind of new basically you just need to uh, use the beam to destroy these bluish these bluish things so as you guys can see on the gameplay I'm using the beam to destroy those but you need to avoid the red ones okay so there are some red ones over here as you guys can see you have to be careful when moving the beam avoid hitting the red ones only hit the blue ones okay so you just want to destroy all of the blue ones and do not touch the red ones okay so the second hack just do the same thing avoid hitting the the square red ones just you you the, the blue circles and you should be good to go okay so two hacks are completed now you just need to go out of the van so you'll be in first person or you can switch back to third person okay just enter the van switch to third person and go go ahead and deliver it to the drop-off location now be very careful here because there's a lot of cops so you might want to go just around the corner and once you guys have gone to the location you want to lose the cops and once you lose the cops you can then deliver the van and it's that simple okay so this is the second mission it's actually really really simple um not a big deal just be careful when uh, delivering the van because there's a lot of cops so you want to go around the corner and then deliver it okay now this is the third mission and it's actually a simple one it's called extraction and you want to go ahead and start up the mission i recommend you guys to do the hard difficulty because it will give you extra money and you can go ahead and start up the mission completely solo you don't need to invite anyone you can do it on your own now once you guys start the mission all you need to do is i always recommend you guys to use the armored karuma because it will give you a lot of protection for the enemies and um, this is what i always recommend to use on all of these missions so you want to get your armored karuma if you don't have one just go ahead and buy one it's really worth it for every mission now once you have the karuma you want to go to the garage and you will need to search for clues okay so this is the first part of the mission which is actually really simple there are no enemies for now just need to go and search over these boxes so actually you need to go over all of them for the mission to trigger so just go around the garage and search for all of the clues that you can find search the laptop as well and after searching all of the clues you guys can can go inside of the vehicle and then uh, you will find the GPS routes okay so after some time of searching you'll need to go inside of the vehicle and then you have the possible GPS location so the, there are three possible locations and what you guys want to do is essentially go to every single one of them until you find the actual one there's no real pattern over here so it, it's it's based on luck uh, so i went to the first one that was nearby the agent johnson was not there and then uh, i went to the other two locations so this is the first one my, the locations might be different every time so don't expect them to be the same for you but you want to basically search first on the closest one and then go to the other ones and as you can see i just found the location so what you want to do is take advantage of the karuma and you can go straight inside to the middle of the enemies okay so this is actually what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna shoot enemies i'm not gonna waste my time killing everyone all I'm gonna do is go inside and look for the agent, okay? You don't need to worry about killing the enemies because you have the armored vehicle. 
So this makes the mission a lot, a lot easier. So as you guys can see, I found the Agent Johnson. I didn't notice, but she was actually running towards me. <laughs> I kind of pushed it, but yeah, everything went fine. And I managed to get her to get go inside of my car. And then once you have the agent, you just make your way out of there. You don't need to shoot enemies whatsoever. So it's really, really easier this way if you use the armor room. Okay, so then just make your way to the location, drop the agent at the hospital, and you should be good to go. It was really, really simple mission. All you need to do is use the armored Kuruma, it will make your life a lot, lot easier. And you still get a decent payout of $43,000 and almost 10,000 RP. I'm gonna show you how to complete the fourth ULP mission, Asset Seizure, without using any of the jammers, okay? You do not need to destroy the jammers. All you need to have is a Toreador, or even without the Toreador, you can go ahead and find the van okay so we want to make sure you start the mission you can put it on hard difficulty to get a bit more of cash and rp and you want to go ahead and start up the job you can do it completely solo you don't need to have friends to help you you just need to go ahead and start it up and put it on hard okay you can do it on normal it's up to you uh, once you guys start the mission, you want to make your way to the Toreador. If you don't have the Toreador, you can just use any other vehicle, but the Toreador will make it easier because the locking missile. So the locking missile will be triggering whenever you find the van, okay? So this is actually the trick. You need to pay attention to the map. There will be a yellow zone where the van is possibly at. And as soon as you see it, you want to check it on the map. So there it is, you want to make your way to the yellow zone and you want to be looking for the van over there. Okay, so it can be any, any van, any type of van with any color. Okay, there is no specific type of van, you just need to look for any van you can find. And you can see that on the back, it is carrying any kind of package. So as you guys can see, the locking missile just triggered but this is not the actual van. So this can happen as well. Uh, the locking missile might be triggering, but as you can see on the back of this van, there is no package. So the way you can easily spot it is if the van has a package on the back. Okay, so using the Toreador makes it a bit simple, but even if you don't have the Toreador, you can just go look for uh, any van and you want to pay attention because the location is always changing okay because the van is on the move okay the van is not stopped so you need to constantly check the map and check the location so the van should be approximately in the center of the yellow circle um, so i'm always checking the map looking for the newest location as you guys can see it was just blinking over there and if you guys go around the center, you should be able to find the van. Uh, so once again, the map is blinking and I'm getting out of the yellow circle, but usually the van goes on the main roads or the highways. Um, it will be always different for you once you do the mission. It might be a bit difficult, but Usually, if you go on the center of the yellow circle, you should be able to find it, okay? So, as you guys can see, the van is really close to me. And luckily, I was able to find it. So, the locking missile will be triggering. And, yeah, there we go. There's the van. So, it can be any color, any shape. Like, you just need to find vans. It can be blue, it can be black, it could be gray. Um, you can just enter the van, and if it is the van, you should be getting the, deliver the van to the drop off, okay? So there's no need to destroy the signal jammers. You don't need to do that. You just need to find the van, enter the van. Once you guys enter the van, you just skip everything and you go straight to the delivery. So this is the trick 
on how to complete this mission the fastest way without having to destroy single jammers because it's really a tedious process so yeah this is really the best trick i think for completing this mission um and you can just hop in the vans hop off and see which van is the real one okay so once you guys have found the van and deliver it you'll be getting this payout i get less payout because i completed the mission faster uh, so depending on the time you spend on the mission you might get more or less payout go ahead and start up the mission you want to go to the location in the map and you want to set it to hard difficulty just to make a bit of extra money and you can do it completely solo you don't need to invite anybody to help you once you guys start the mission go to the construction site it's really nearby and from here you will need to basically check the drone footage and locate the target okay locate maze and dungan so there's no other way you'll have to go on top of the building on foot so you need to destroy all of the enemies over here in the floor area and eventually you'll find the key card to go on top of the building so you'll have access to the elevators so i'm using the torridor but you can do this on foot just as you wish and be careful because there are some drones that you have to manually destroy them okay so they won't be detected by the locking missile you need to actually shoot them so swiping the first key card on the first floor you want to be very careful uh, you want to go towards the right and you want to take cover as much as possible as i said in the previous videos you want to make sure you have all of the snacks in your inventory so go to your co office agency or any other uh, building you have and grab the snacks okay so yeah be very careful here because there are a lot of enemies and if you die you will need to start over from the bottom um, so yeah just go ahead kill the enemies be very careful here uh, make sure to always fill up your health with snacks whenever needed and uh, as i said before be very careful with these drones there will be drones also in this first floor so once you go to the second floor now this is where it gets a lot difficult because you need to basically take cover here for a, a while so you need to shoot several enemies they will be coming towards you uh, so it would be a bit more difficult to finish them okay but keep moving forward as you progress by killing the npcs and you'll be good to go also make sure you shoot the drone because the drone is difficult to see sometimes okay so yeah you keep moving as you progress and you'll be almost at the final level so as you guys can see just cleaning up on this part um, and also the drone now once you guys go to the top you see the helicopter is going away so you can try to shoot the helicopter uh, but it's it's impossible to destroy the helicopter okay so it's part of the mission um, so be careful because there will be two enemies spawning from behind and they will eventually try to kill you but it's okay if you die over here because you can actually skip uh, you, you get back to the helicopter so you can shoot it okay so don't worry if you die on the top floor because it will be even easier then you need to grab the parachute and follow the helicopter okay so follow the helicopter to the top of the next building make sure you land on top if you don't there's always stair to go on top okay so once you guys are there you want to land on this spot and also be very careful so this is a very tricky mission you definitely need snacks to refill your health and there's a lot of shooting 
there's no way around it. You cannot use the Kuruma, you cannot use any other vehicle that can help you. So definitely you need to take some shooting skills on this mission, okay? So once you guys have collected the briefcase, just go on your personal vehicle, just call whatever vehicle you like and deliver the case to the drop off, okay? So that's essentially what the mission looks like. It's a bit of a pain because you have to shoot a lot of enemies. So make sure you have the snacks, really important. Otherwise you will be frustrated because you'll die pretty easily, okay? So once you guys complete the mission, I actually completed it faster. So I got less payout, but eventually you will get more money if you spend more time on a mission. So, so let's get started. First start up the mission. You can put our difficulty to get more extra money bonus. And once you guys start the mission, you can find a helicopter just nearby. Go ahead and grab it and then make your way to the silo, okay? So you wanna go ahead, get the, the helicopter and make your way to the location on the map. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, nothing to worry about from now, okay? So once you guys get to the location, you wanna go inside and it will tell you to go to the control room, okay? So at this point, you don't need to worry about anything except for the juggernaut. So there will be some juggernauts in the way as you go to the control room. And as you guys can see, you can find one in the control room probably. So they will be asleep and you want to uh, just kill the juggernauts as you see them asleep, okay? So as you go through the uh, making your, your way to the control room you want to check every corner and if you find a juggernaut you want then to kill the juggernaut um, beforehand okay so this will be helping you to complete the mission because the juggernauts will be already dead now the next step is to go to the um, control board and you'll need to grab the fuses okay so you can find the fuses on top of these green boxes most of the time they will be there sometimes you'll have to destroy these crates and they will be uh, somewhere behind those crates as you can see on the table right there in the desk so make sure you look very carefully um, because the fuse will be probably on top of these green boxes or on top of the workbenches and stuff like that okay so you want to make sure you are not aiming when you want to um, collect the fuse because it seems like when you are aiming you want to you will not get the notification that you can collect the fuse so instead of aiming just uh, don't aim and collect the fuse okay once you have the four fuses you can turn on the power and you can then go to the location on the map and also make sure you clean all of the juggernauts that you find in the way as i said before they will be asleep so be sure to look before on every corner once you get to this location there will be one juggernaut right next to the door and there will be two juggernauts on top of these stairs okay so you want to make your way up the stairs and you will be finding two juggernauts um, one of them is over here so just follow the exact path that I show you one of them will be here and the other one will be around these stairs over here so two juggernauts on the top floor and one in the lower level okay once you guys have cleaned the juggernauts, you can go and hack the server. So open it, open up your phone and start the application, the hacking application, and just wait for it to finish. You can close the phone and you'll need to hack four servers, okay? So you will see that when you get to the second server, so actually hacking the second server right now, once you complete the second server, there will be juggernauts spawning, okay? So you'll need to be careful here because they might be coming upstairs and you want to be very cautious. You want to uh, try to 
figure out if they're shooting at you you want to take cover immediately and try to shoot them um, while taking cover okay because they can kill you really really fast and as i always say you should have snacks and refill your health because you'll get a lot of damage from these juggernauts okay so once you clear the way you can make your way to the third server and hack it and sometimes while you are going between these locations you will see that uh, the juggernauts will face your way so you might be uh, just extra cautious with that and take cover as much as possible don't forget to eat the snacks as well so as you guys can see i have found a juggernaut in my way so trying to aim at the juggernaut without having him see me okay so you can technically aim at the juggernaut without being on his field of vision and once you guys hack the fourth server you will eventually uh have more juggernauts spawning so be ready to take cover and also refill your health a lot because as soon as you start getting hit you need to refill your health okay so as you guys can see you can always use this technique uh, you can just aim at the juggernaut without being on his field of vision and this is the, actually the best way to kill the juggernaut okay um, even if you get into a situation where the juggernauts are surrounding you, you can always take cover and shoot them, uh, you know, shoot them um, with patience and also take cover, shoot, take cover. Just do that until you can eventually kill the juggernaut, okay? And make your way downstairs as much as possible. You don't actually need to kill the juggernaut. If you manage to go downstairs, you can save some time. Um, so there will be a lot of situations like this as I said you want to take cover you want to refill your health and you want to patiently shoot the juggernaut in the head until eventually he dies okay so that might take a couple of seconds because these juggernauts can take a lot of bullets until they're dead so once you have reached this point over here you want to shoot the door to actually be able to see the juggernauts you don't need to push the door so the best way here is to actually shoot the door and shoot the juggernauts inside because otherwise you would be going inside and you'd be instantly dead uh, because they'll be just in front of you okay so this is just a little trick to avoid getting killed in this section you can just shoot the door and then shoot the juggernauts and once again patiently shoot them until they are dead and proceed making your way to the location so right here there will be like three juggernauts so if you have grenades or a grenade launcher or something like that i definitely recommend using it because it will make your life a lot lot easier uh, because otherwise you will have to shoot all three of them at the same time which is not simple but anyway just use any combination of grenades and bullets as you see that it helps okay so this is actually almost there uh, we'll still have like one or two juggernauts and yeah so once you guys get to this spot over here and have killed these three juggernauts there will be one just next to this door so we have to be very careful because you can be caught off guard and you can be easily killed so make sure you throw some grenades over here as well and you can kill the juggernaut because otherwise it will, it will be very difficult to kill him because you have very little space to take cover um, the next one should show up on this corridor as well so you want to also do the same thing take cover Fill up, fill up your health and yeah just use that technique of you know uh, killing the juggernaut without letting him see you because if you do it just like this just a tiny bit 
You can shoot them, but you cannot see you. So this is a trick for completing this mission. Once you guys go outside, you will be having a chopper in your way and you have to shoot them down. Okay, so the first thing you guys should be doing is grabbing the minigun or whatever weapon you want and destroying this chopper. And once you are done with destroying the chopper, you can then go and parachute over the mountain. So there will be a parachute over there and you want to just open the parachute and go down. Uh, you can also shoot the chopper while you are doing the parachute, which is really cool if you guys do that. And you just want to go to the ground, make your way to any street because you'll need to find the street vehicle, okay? So just make sure you land on the street and quickly grab a street vehicle and make your way escaping from the enemies. And you should go to this final destination, which is the IAA facility, okay? This is the very end of the mission, and it's a bit of a tough one. It took me about 30 minutes to complete, but eventually, once you complete it the first time, you'll get the hang out of it, and it'll be easier, okay? So this is definitely the longest mission, and the payout isn't that great, as you guys can see. We just get 48,000 for that much time. Uh, not really worth it in my opinion, but there you go. This is the last mission of the DLC content. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is it for this video guys, I hope you really liked the video, check my channel for other videos, subscribe if you haven't, click the ring bell notification and see you in the next video.